So yeah yeah i mean that's the only reason anyone ever sells usually is either they just need the money or they're trying to buy back in cheaper or they just um you know have maybe large bags of hex yield that that they just got like i don't know 40 million really, worth 40 million that's what hex well <laughs> says well there you go back in the is pools this- is that somebody, I, I know somebody will do the chain analysis and, uh, you know, see how much they had before and all that stuff. But I'm just thinking like, th- did the FUD finally get to them? They're like, I'm, you know, Hex is at 30 cents. Oh, hang on. Hex at 20 cents. I'll oh, hang on. Hex at 10 cents, 8 cents, 7 cents. Hex sits at three and a half cents for, right, right. for a month or something. And they're like, now is the time to sell. Like, how does that, yeah. how does somebody sell 40 million on the market? I don't know, man. So uh, everyone has their reasons. But um, was it the best time? Probably not. Was well, that? Are you saying you think it's going lower? I have no idea, man. Like <laughs> I literally have no idea. Um, I I don't know. Whoa, eighty million total. Whoa. Eighty million. Yeah, that'll do do some nasty things to the chart. That's crazy. Oh, but, DX says uh, RH mined a three hundred k BTC. So he mined it back then. I guess that's what you're saying. I'm curious or, how oh. he arrived at that number, 300k BTC. DX, let us know. Um, Runs the Pulse Tube, uh, a trusted source more than more than most. But yeah, I'd like to know how you got the data on that. Oh, 300k. I was reading it dollars. 300k Bitcoin total. Like that's a lot. Mm-hmm. Of yeah. Um, I like bottoms. I don't sell them. <laughs> and we're gonna hit a bottom eventually. I know, t- tiny hands. I mean, Hex just made a lower low. Like, for everyone who thought it was a double bottom on 2.8, me being, you know, kind of one of them for a minute, it's, it just invalidated that and wicked down to 2.3 cents. Oh, man. I, I know we've been talking about it for a while, too. Is going to, will it, in your opinion, will, will we ever see it under a penny again? Uh,. I mean, bro, it could happen in like a week and in an instant, as you just saw. So I don't want to say never, but I well, will it st- will it stay there for, you know, a week. We'll say that we'll give you more than a week. We'll stay there for a week underpinning. And I mean, it's just so hard to tell. Like, I, I never want to give um, I'm more careful now with with price speculation. Oh. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, it um, just me of that. Yeah. Not financial advice, obviously, everyone, but uh, you know, Cause I truly don't know. Like there's a lot of macro stuff going on. People are scared of a recession. Uh, global politics are kind of nuts right now. We have the USA midterm elections coming up. We have end of the year tax loss harvesting for some people. It's literally so many non-deterministic variables that go into this formula. How could you ever think that output of something like that is deterministic? It's like, it's just the most random thing ever. If, if random exists, it's, you know, it's, it's that. That's, that's what I was going to uh, say too, just on the, on Christmas, <laughs> we got the fed. It, so if fed raises rates, there you go. 0.25. Well, let's say they do 0.25 instead of 0.75. Merry Christmas. Still got <laughs> yeah. But, but we still got the uh, people walking in, uh, you know, lost before the end of the year. Does it cancel it out? Does it, are we at, I don't know. I want Christmas. I mean, to be nice. maybe. Um, I don't consider slowing down the raising of rates as necessarily a pivot. I mean, you might see like a little bull trap, little bear market rally, but it's just hard, dude. It's hard to be bullish on assets while the dollar is pumping so hard. It's just hard. Um, Sniff, Sniff wants to know if you've, have you, have you ever heard of Adam? No, apparently. No, he said it a couple times. I'm like, I don't know what the story is here, but, uh, apparently you haven't heard of Adam and he thinks you should have or something. I'm, I'm not sure. Mm, that's a really weird comment. Cause I legit <laughs> have never heard of that. I'm sure Sniff will explain now that I've, now that yeah. I've brought it up. Um, Hex Hoddle said he caught it at one point, uh, 1.9. Nice, man. 
Failed really on what exchange? I didn't see that. I just saw um two point two nine. Two point two nine. One point nine. Yeah. Hmm. So you're using yeah. What do you use for limit? You use matcha for limit orders or what do you? Oh, maybe for? matcha. I don't. I don't do limit orders. I don't. Okay. Do yeah no. Because to some degree. Limit orders are a form of speculation. It's like, I think the price will go here and therefore, you know, I'm going to do something here. Yeah. I like that. I like the explanation. It's like, you don't even want you to put yourself in that position. Yeah. Right. I like it. No, I, I personally really don't use limit orders. So not much of a trader, sounds like. Mm, no. I like it, man. You embody a lot of the values of the community. Uh, with with those with those words i like it um well let's get to a couple of again get your uh, questions in the chat if you have and we'll wrap up yeah, soon here because i know i know uh gerardo has uh lots of stuff to build going on but um all good richard's latest richard's latest updates uh any tingling feeling do you feel like uh you know <laughs> was it nothing burger was he just like got to feed the got to feed the hungry lions out there what, what's going on <laughs> Um, do, 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 do. you mean with this whole like team A versus team B? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he said that a while ago. Now it's just like, okay, we're continuing what I said a while ago. Like he's been pretty consistent in what he said. A lot of his, a lot of it can be overshadowed by the noise and rumors and speculation of the community. And it kind of blows my mind how some of these rumors blow up so much within the community to the point where they're almost accepted as truth. A simple one is like, oh, he's timing the bottom. Like, bro, he's said multiple times. Unless you think he's straight lying to you, which I don't. He said multiple times he's not. And like, certain people are liars and some certain people are not. And I think it's not that hard to tell sometimes that when someone's telling the truth or not. And I don't think he's lying, man. I think he's just not timing the bottom. I know how hard software is. Right, I'm on dev calls basically every day, and it's not easy. There's a lot to do. There are hidden, how does he call them? Unknown unknowns. Like you don't run into yeah. the issue. You don't even know the issue is going to be an issue until you run into it, kind of thing. And so you just have a lot going on in software. I can't even imagine building an L1. I'm here crying about building a marketplace. It's, <laughs> you know, it's not even comparable. So I don't think he's timing the bottom. I think he's actually working. I think his devs are actually working. And it's just taking time. It's just taking the man hours. And things are being improved upon, getting better, optimized, staged, tested, like audited, et cetera. Oh, what well, you mentioned earlier, uh, you know, the, the, the move from BSC to ETH 2.0. What, what is your take on that? Like, and what is the biggest difference? You mentioned, you know, fork instead of uh, injected snapshot. All that yeah. stuff. Yeah. What, what, what is your take on that? I like it. I mean, it's just playing with the new tools available. It's like, I was trying to come up with an analogy for this yesterday in my head. It's as if you're coming out with a new phone and you're going to copy, um, you know, some Android software, some Android OS, because it's, it's like faster, better than iOS. And then iOS comes out with a new update and it's like, okay, actually we just shit on, the previous Android phone, it's like, oh, well, I'm going to copy that now if it's open source because it's just better. Yeah, I should flesh out this analogy more. Told you mm. I, I started it in my head yesterday. But no, it's just like, what tools do you have available right now? And that the answer to that question changes every second, uh, maybe every day, right? How often are you going to check what tools you have available to build what you're building? Should be every day. And if ETH2, if the merge happened successfully which from what i saw it did you know there was no hiccups um it, it just it just went well it was a smooth transition from proof of work to proof of stake and ethereum is working fine better than ever um i mean there are certain hiccups right like the like you could say most validators right now are being run by centralized exchanges yada yada mm. like you run into a new set of issues for sure but nonetheless the transition itself like it was impressive to me so it just goes to show that they have you know really smart people working on their team and you can have a 
proof of stake consensus L1 with all the cool stuff that ETH2 has. I think it is the best tool to use. And if you've, you know, if you forked a BSC a year ago and have been playing with it and fixing it and finding bugs and you realize like this is going to take longer than just playing with the new thing. Like, why would you continue fixing this, you know, pile of turd while you can just play with the new thing? It seems like they've just been finding bugs, fixing, finding bugs, fixing. And it just, maybe that's not the base layer you want to start with. You know, it's yeah. all the BSC bugs went yeah. away now. Right. There you go. It's a respectable choice. I don't know why people are crying about such a, like a logical choice in software development. Because right. now we have to start over and it's going to be another 18 months. I love how that's the conclusion. Yeah. Like, why would that be the case? Well, not, yeah, I don't think it will be because what Pulsex is done. Um, now you have a lot of experience building on BSC. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be another 18 months. I don't. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I keep pushing it out just not, just to get it off my mind, not to worry about it. I keep saying January. And then when it when then December comes, it's not here. I'll be like, all right, I'm good pushing out to March. I'll just keep pushing it out because it, it doesn't matter. I mean, everyone wants it to come, but like, you, yeah. you think, like, why does, why does the we win full shame meme even exist? Is it, is it like there's all this sacrifice capital that's just sitting yeah. there? Like, 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 why did, why does it, why is it the most popular phrase in the, in, in the entire community right now? Is it, I mean, people are impatient. People want it. You know, we touched on this earlier, like projects building right now benefit from it not necessarily being out yet, especially if they're still in the building, testing, auditing process. But most people aren't in that stage. Most people just threw their crypto at a crypto address and want tokens and what what um what what better of a time to really want your tokens than in the you know potentially the bottom of a bear market or in the midst of a bear market i don't want to call the bottom but you know in the middle of a bear market people are antsy and they want their their new tokens and they want their new chain they want something to be that light in the darkness of the bear and they're not getting it. And so they're getting angry. They're getting, what's that? A uh, wall street cheat sheet. They're getting depressed. They're getting angry. Yeah. They're getting, um, anxiety, infighting, just FUD everywhere. And people dumping their 80 million hex, you know, market sell and <laughs> crashing the price down to two and a half cents. And I don't know. It's crazy time, man. I think we're going to look back on this and be like, just, whoa, like it, it was crazy back now but looking back it'll be kind of you know well, well yeah and i mean no for sure there'd be a lot of people who who are you know crying out there and just like asking richard for refunds who would just i mean frankly just be embarrassed like why why was i so you know everything came out it came out turned out fine you know did all the x's did all the things and they're like why was i such in a bad emotional state i mean everyone can be in a bad emotional state every once in a while, but just like yeah. when you keep piling it on yourself and worrying about something that you have no control over, that, you, that just, you're just a recipe for disaster. You got to like yeah. not have an emotional response to all this stuff. 